the issue of NMPCL and Dangote refinery has generated a lot of pains to Nigerians. In my own observation and estimation, I do not think at this level that the issue of NMPCL and Dangote refinery should be confined to the committee level. I want to suggest and amend the prayers in the motion that the GMD of NMPCL should be invited, summoned by this house, to give clear explanation to Nigerians on the current issue about the supply of petroleum products and, of course, the price of PMS in Nigeria. I so submit, Mr. Speaker. Thank Mr. Speaker, my revered colleagues. I remain of OG Abonsis Oboku, representing the Neguakulukbo Pokuma Ferra constituency and from Bayasa State. The speaker arise this morning to move a motion on the urgent public importance, on the urgent need to allow the independent marketers to have take lift PMS from the Dangote Petroleum Refinery. The House notes that the Dangote Petroleum Refinery began operation in its 650 barrel per day integrated refinery on the 15th of September 2024, having the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited NMPCL as the sole optaker of the product. However, recently, the meta marketers have been given access to leave the product by the NMPCL. We must commend the Dangote Group and congratulate Nigeria as this is no mean feat considering the fact that our country has been battling for decades with refining our crude without success. The Speaker, the House also note that by this feat, Nigeria is driving towards energy self-sufficiency, cost and foreign exchange saving, meeting the increasing demand for fuel attraction of foreign capital investment, generation of forex through export of finished product, conversation of foreign exchange, and huge value addition that will contribute to increase in Nigerian gross domestic product GDP. Mr. Speaker, the House, is further, the, the House further note that in view of the high demand by millions of Nigerians for PMAs and the ordeal they go through to get it the NMPCL should be allowed, the NMPCL should allow independent marketers to lift the product from the Dangote refinery. Cognizant that allowing independent marketers, mega marketers along with the NMPCL to lift from the Dangote refinery will lead to competition, availability of product, hence reduction in the price of petroleum uh, motor spirit, PMS. Mr. Speaker, the House is is worried that the NMPCL and the mega marketers as exclusive of taker spell monopoly, which is tantamount to greed. This is the same NMPCL that has failed to manage our crude and refinery for decades in the past. No wonder the late MK Abiola of, of blessed memory in a viral video some years ago lamented that the NNPCL lacked transparency and accountability. Mr. Speaker, the House is disturbed that allowing the NNPCL and major marketers to leave PMS from the refinery to the exclusion of the independent marketer is not good enough. The Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, IPMAN, representative has expressed fear that it may be forced to resort to fuel import to sustain their businesses if this monopoly is not nipped in the board. The suffering of the Nigerian occasion by the scarcity of PMAs will continue and we all know the implication on our their economy. But as we got the House resolve, or is the federal government to mandate the NMPCL and the Dangote refinery to allow the independent marketers to leave PMAs from the Dangote refinery or the management of Dangote refinery to build a square or partner to get a tank farm or depot across the geopolitical zone in the country to ease accessibility of petroleum product to the people. 
mandate the Nigerian Natural Petroleum Corporation Limited, NMPCL, to reveal the price itself crude oil to the Dangote refinery, and also mandate the Dangote refinery to reveal the price itself PMS to the NMPCL to ensure transparency. Mandate the Committee of Petroleum Resources Mainstream and Downstream to ensure compliance. Mr. Speaker, my river colleagues, I so move. Speaker, I remain Baba Jimmy Benson from the gender-friendly people of the Kurodu Federal Constituency. Mr. Speaker, we may recall that a couple of weeks ago we set up another committee which was inaugurated, I think, yesterday or two days ago on this same subject matter. Mr. Speaker, I recommend that it is appropriate that we hand over all Dangote-related issues and matters to this said committee. Otherwise, we will be... Uh, and again, his, 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 um, his prayers need investigation, so we cannot just stand here and pass a resolution on same. So I still recommend, Mr. Speaker. People of our back at Megwick, a federal constituency from Akwaibum State. Mr. Speaker, my colleagues, if you recall that the issue of NMPCL and Dangote refinery has generated a lot of pains to Nigerians, in my own observation and estimation, I do not think at this level that the issue of NMPCL and Dangote refinery should be confined to the committee level. I want to suggest and amend the prayers in the motion that the GMD of NMPCL should be invited, summoned by this house, to give clear explanation to Nigerians on the current issue about the supply of petroleum products and, of course, the price of PMS in Nigeria. I so submit, Mr. Speaker. Well, Honorable Jembo, with due respect, you know, today we are going to announce, in fact, yesterday, we had after consultation, that we should make the announcement today of the membership and fix a date next week for the inauguration of this committee. And the, one of the terms of the reference is to look into this same thing you are talking about. So I think it will be a, a duplication of efforts. I am sure in the course of the investigation, the GMD will be called upon to answer questions. So rather than... Um, uh, subjecting him to the, the, the several visits on one subject matter, I think we should put our confidence on the Joint Committee, let them do a, whole, a holistic job and report back to us. Mr. So Mr. I think the contributions of others are along. Honorable members, my name is Arait Honorable Bashir Zubair Usman. I represent the Nugari Geo Federal Constituency. Mr. Speaker, this is a simple issue. I think uh, we are just trying to drag this matter so long. I think the point of order raised by Honorable Baba, uh, Baba Femi Jepson, I think it is right because this is an issue of the joint committee of the two houses, both Senate and House of Representatives. I think whatever the House will, decision will, the House will take, the committee report will supersede any uh, contribution or any uh, committee that we are going to, maybe we are going to refer it back to the main committee of our petroleum and other committees that we are going to. But this is a joint committee of the Senate and House of Representatives. I believe it's even better that the House should allow this committee to so, do their So rather, I would have advised that you move that we refer this particular motion to the joint committee okay. to be inaugurated. That's Mr. All. Mr. Speaker, so if you can move for that, we, we can make progress, okay? We'll refer back to the committee, main committee. Okay, Mr. Speaker, right honorable members, I move that this motion should be referred back to the main committees for the purpose of authorization. I report back to the honorable committee House. Committee or to the ADO committee to be integrated? Yes, to the ADO committee to be integrated. Any second to this amendment? Yes. Any second? My name is Frederick, it's my name. I represent Sagbama Kilimo Federal Constituency. It's not coming, I'm from Bayasa State. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, I rise to second the motion that this motion 
be prescribed to the ad hoc committee to be inaugurated. That's so second. Thank you.